from KVON, investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Monica Garcia. Sean Mooney has the night off. It's the final weekend of the campaign season. Candidates are in a mad dash to get out the vote. Our state's races are some of the most closely watched in the nation. News for Tucson's Eric Fink has a look at the candidates campaign rallies in southern Arizona this weekend. He joins us live from downtown with more and Eric man. Oh man, we are close to that finish line. Very, very close. Three days in change, Monica, here in Battleground, Arizona. The next three days are all about making sure voters either turn in those early ballots or convincing, if you're the candidates, convincing voters to show up at the polls and cast a ballot on Election Day. It's all going to come out, come down to turnout, and that's why candidates will be crisscrossing Arizona over the next three days, making their closing argument in this final push. The GOP ticket coming to the border in Cochise County ahead of a three day bus tour that starts in Phoenix Saturday morning. Along the border in Sierra Vista, Republican nominee for Governor Kerry Lake and U.S. Senate nominee Blake Masters making their pitch to voters. People are fed up with the Democrat policies that are dead end policies, destroying the economy, destroying their families, destroying our country. And so I think in the next uh, four days, we're going to have a lot of more people coming over and saying we're going to vote. We're going to get them out to the boat, to the to the polls on Tuesday, and I think it's going to be a great victory. January 3rd, when I get sworn in, it starts right then. I'll do everything I can at the federal level to, to secure that border. We're going to retire Mark Kelly next Tuesday. We'll figure out the legal side of things. My priority, Kerry's priority, Mark and Abe's to secure this southern border, give our law enforcement the resources they need to do their jobs. The GOP bus tour rolls through southern Arizona Sunday with a meet and greet in the morning, followed by a rally in Tucson, then a meet and greet at Sammy's Mexican Grill in Catalina. On the other side, Senator Mark Kelly and Democratic nominee for Governor Katie Hobbs at a rally in Phoenix Friday afternoon with actress Kerry Washington and Camila Cabello of The Voice. If I'm in the United States Senate, I'm going to be fighting for women to get back this constitutional right to make a personal decision about abortion, to make it themselves. There is so much at stake in this election. And the choice could not be more clear, not just for me, but in the governor's race, secretary of state's race, attorney general's race, up and down the ballot, it is very clear. Secretary of State Katie Hobbs hoping to become Arizona's first Democratic governor since 2009. Her fierce battle with Kerry Lake goes into its final weekend. When people like Carrie Lee denied the results of the election and, tr and did everything they could to overturn the will of the voters, we stood firm. And that's the, that's the kind of leadership I'll bring to the governor's office. Real solutions, not finger pointing or conspiracy theories, but bringing people together to solve our most urgent problems. Hobbs has two campaign stops in Tucson Sunday, a canvas in Midtown and a rally on the south side. And one elections data expert in the Valley says more than 1.4 million Arizonans have already voted. That's 40% turnout so far. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.